So one of the biggest questions in buying a swimming pool, and that's what we're here to talk about, is what kind of decking can you do around your pool and how is that properly done? So. Um, one of the first things is you can do concrete, which is the most traditional way. There's a few different finishes. You can do a broom finish, you can do a stamp, as well as there's a paver out there. For this pool and for us uh, diving into a lot of the process and how we're doing this phase right now, we are doing, um, as you just witnessed and saw, we just poured the bond beam. So we're doing a travertine, like I've mentioned before, coping. So I'm going to have you all come in close here. We are doing a travertine, which is going to be an inch and a half overhang. So what that is is a smooth border that comes over the edge an inch and a half. And then it's going to come past 12 feet, or I'm sorry, 12 feet, 12 inches. And thanks, Brian. We've got what that actually is going to look like. And we're, it's two feet long. So we're going to say things. This is our coping. So it looks beautiful, makes it pop. It's very nice and smooth, no rough edges. It's a nice coping around your pool. Now, in order to do this properly, there's a few things that have to happen before. So we are doing the, the travertine and then a broom finish is going to be out here as the rest of it, just a, like a standard concrete broom finish. And what we had to do in prepping, we, so the biggest question is um, now once you establish what type of coping, what type of concrete you want, now we're here in the phase of installing, what's one of the biggest things we have to do is electrical is your bond beam. So why are we standing in front where you can see some of this wire mesh, um, you see this stuff, we see the bonding wire. So what is all that and what's, why is that important? So one of the biggest things is Let's talk about the number eight wire here, which is a copper wire that goes all the way around this pool. Why is that so important? Because that is what needs to be inspected by your local codes, uh, codes person, be able to uh, certify to be able to pass this. The whole point of this is anything metal, anything around the pool, or if you're in the pool and you try to touch something, you cannot be electrocuted. So everything from around the pool that is metal. So for example, we're standing here in front of a handrail right now. So we are able to connect this and bond this handrail so when, it is, when it's installed, you, all you're going to see is just the top of these and that's it. So we put the handrail in here, they're anchored in, but behind the scenes of everything, it's all wired in. So we have an, uh, an actual lug nut here that attaches and our electrician does all this. A certified electrician must do this. So we always frame it so that goes into one of the first things is this wire mesh or sometimes people use rebar. This is to help strengthen your concrete so when they start pouring they will lift this wire mesh up in the, and they will lift up your uh, rebar and what they're doing is having that making sure that they're getting that laid inside that concrete so it will help the thickness, the strength and integrity for long term. So um, that's how they will uh, pour your concrete to make that um, you know out out around the pool. Um, so like I said, so the first phase is when you know what you're wanting, what kind of decking, we then come out, we will frame, our team will come out and frame for this, then the electrician will come and he will do the bonding. And then they will have the uh, codes gentleman, he will come out, he will inspect it, give the thumbs up, actually they give a piece of paper and sign off saying you're good to go. Then that allows us to have our concrete crew come out and pour. So like today, we've already been through all these processes. We've done all this. Today, as you guys witnessed and watched, we poured our bond beam. Um, and then tomorrow, you guys are going to see us start laying this travertine. So it really starts coming to life and you guys can see that phase of it. So we'll be on to see you guys tomorrow on the next phase because right now, we got to let this dry. And we'll be back tomorrow to uh, install this uh, pretty thing. <laughs>